In Ask the Bible Season 2, our guests, be it Malaysian students or staff from IBS East Asia, are still given one passage on the spot. Then they are given 10 minutes to read and write down their questions and their comments or thoughts on that passage. At the end of 10 minutes, they are given only 5 minutes to share with us what they have written. We hope that as in Season 1, this series will continue to encourage you to pause and ask questions when you read the Bible. Timon Leste is a young student movement with eager and initiated students. Beginning with two staff seconded from Malaysia to now a team of four, with two Timorese joining the team, a male and a female staff. Today, we have Thurston Atong with us. Can you share with us um, how the student ministry looks like in Timor Leste? Our student movement there is also uh, a new. Uh, so uh, there are a few challenges that we face, uh, like uh, students haven't really get used to the idea of meeting inside campus yet. And, um, and on top of that, there's a language barrier uh, issue. Um, where some students, uh, they use Indonesian Bible, some students, they prefer, uh, they are uh, well-versed in Portuguese, so they use Portuguese Bible. And um, uh, now more and more students are, uh, are getting uh, interested to use their own language, the uh, Bible. And, um, and also, the students, uh, I believe, they, they are more eager to share the Word of God uh, with with their, their friends. Since it's a very new ministry, I'm sure breakthroughs are very encouraging to you guys. Can you share with us one breakthrough that you have had with the students there? In the past, they were very timid. They were a bit scared to have a uh, camp meeting inside the campus. But um, for the past, I, I think two years back, so they have uh, had this new refreshed courage to meet inside the campus and they are saying that oh why should we be afraid because we are not doing something um, uh, that is hurtful but in fact it brings life so the passage that i will give you is um roof chapter one okay ready roof chapter one Makes me wonder like what why she made the decision like or Orpa, she simply okay. You have given me the permission, so now I will go, and it's okay. But uh, Ruth was uh, choosing the opposite option, and uh, and in verse eighteen, only when she, uh, Naomi saw how persistent, determined she is, that she stopped urging her to go. So. Uh, it's a beautiful picture of um, uh, com uh, determination. Okay, so what, what made her go? What made her so determined? Mm. Okay. How the death of the, the children affected her to the point like, no, no, don't call me Naomi, call me Mara. Because that is uh, how she is hurtful by the, uh, the incident. Okay. Bitter. My life is very bitter. Maybe not just the life, uh, the death of the children, but the death of her husband. Hmm. I wonder how is it like to live with somebody so bitter? Wow. You want to follow her? Hmm. How would the challenges be for two um, widows in, in that time? Yeah. Okay. In the in terms of culture. How would you approach this passage with your students? The, the key is always um, allowing them to put themselves in the probable shoes of the characters and then they can engage their senses with, oh, this must be how it feels. And after that, I, would, I, I will invite them to ask the reason why uh, Ruth made this decision. Yeah. And how much of the background would you provide to help students get into it um depending on the group i guess so if the group are familiar with old testament i will not share too much about the background but if it's a fairly new and especially if it's their first time doing uh, old testament study it is i believe it is wise for them to at least have uh the a little bit of idea what is actually going on in that time summary of title for this passage giving my blank check
ask questions when you read the Bible. So let's engage scripture today.